Hello, Fossos who uh, couldn't attend the last PBP, I will present the application work done on the pharmaceutical forms with optimized microemulsion and proteome-free device. So the study aims to um, combine the benefits of using microemulsion and proteome-free device with a low um, viscosity of microemulsion and to have an easy to apply form. The model drug used was diclofenac sodium. A solubility assessment was done with different excipients to select the appropriate surfactant, co-surfactant and oily vehicles. Then a pseudo tenary diagram was done to design microemulsion zones. As you can see here, labrazole as surfactant gives the best solubility properties. Moreover, preliminary tests show that the simple dispersion of labrazole in water is able to form a nice foam. The screening of different co-surfactants show that larger zones of microemulsion were obtained with pleural oleic. So labrazole as surfactant, pleural oleic as co-surfactant, labrafac li lipophil as oily phase and water. The optimal zone where microemulsion makes form is here in the black sac. In this area, we test several formulations. For the formulation of 1% of diclofenac sodium, the optimized formulation contains 18% of labrazole, 3% of pleural oleic, 0.5% of labrafac lipophil and water. These microemulsions provide foam with good consistency and persistency. This study underlined the potential of using microemulsion in propellant free device. This formulation combined patient expectation with a pleasant texture, easy to apply formulation with a constant volume, and therapeutic efficiency with a more patient adherence. This poster is available at www.gatfosse.com.